Hello Youtubers, I'm Perwiz and this is our 8th video in C++ programming language. So uh, the topic of this video is about arrays and also multi-dimensional arrays. So uh, now uh, if you remember our video on variables, uh, when you want to store one value, we are going to use variables. Uh, 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 if we want to store two or three values, we need to use more variables, but it's not a good way. Uh, by this reason we have arrays. Arrays are collection of the elements that are the same type. So it's just a collection of the elements that the types are the same. And the elements are stored in the continuous memory location. Uh, now for example, uh, uh, if you want to uh, create, uh, if you want to store for example uh, some uh, four or five integer values. Uh, now for that we need to create four or five variables. Uh, now instead of doing that we can just use one array to store all the elements. So now let's just uh, use our practical example. Now for this for uh, creating array the first thing you need to specify uh, the, the data type of the array. So it's integer and we are going to just give the name so numbers and now in here we need to just specify uh, the length of the array so it's optional you can do this or you can leave it blank uh, now in here I can just uh, say for example I want to store one two three four uh, five six now uh, we have created our array and we have initialized the items or the elements in the array now how you can access to the element of this array for example, if I want to access to the this first element of the array, how I can do this? Now, uh, one important issue that you need to uh, remember, uh, arrays are starting from the zero index. So, for example, for accessing the first volume of the array, we need to use the zero index. So it is zero index, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Now we can just say C out and we are going to just write numbers and we want to the zero index. Now if we run this, so now you can see we have one in here. Now you can just, uh, let me just copy and paste this. For example, I want to access to the, uh, the self, uh, uh, for example, this uh, uh, this 4 you can just uh, start 0 1 2 and 3 so let me just add 3 and you'll see that I am receiving the 4 volume uh, now you can see this is the 4 volume volume uh, also you can uh, for example you can uh, change uh, add the, an array in here an element of the array for example, I want to change index 0 to 30 and now if I uh, see out the uh, 0 index element, uh, you will see that now I don't have 1 and instead we have 30 in here. So you can see the value is 30. Uh, also you can use, uh, uh, for example, you can iterate over the array. Now let me just show you a simple example. Let me remove this. Uh, for example, I have a, a string uh, language. <coughs> so let me just include a string in here. Okay, now in this array, um, I'm going to just create some programming language, like for example, uh, C++. Uh, Python, uh, Java, and also C sharp. <coughs> okay, now, uh, so we need to, uh, because we are using array. Okay, <coughs> now after this, uh, you can uh, now we can iterate over this. So we can just say for end i, uh, end i to zero, and i zero, and now we are going to check 
our i value should be less than 4 and we want to increment our i value i plus plus and uh, now we can see out so we can just say see out language and we are going to just pause the i in here and let me just uh, add a new line in here like this uh, now if I run this So now you can see we have C++, Python, Java, and C Sharp. Uh, now uh, let's just create an example of a multidimensional array. Now uh, uh, in C++, a multidimensional array is really just an array of arrays. So uh, a two-dimensional array, also a two-dimensional array is an array of arrays. A uh, two-dimensional array is a 2D array. Is uh, It's a, like a table with rows and column, with row and column. Uh, so uh, just it's uh, uh, an array and the array uh, we can call it for multi-dimensional array so uh, now let me just show you an example you will know that what I mean we're going to just create a two-dimensional array in here uh, for example we are going to just specify int x so we want it should have two rows and also four columns and now we are going to just specify uh, our element so one two three four and we are going to just say uh, five six seven eight okay now and here you can see we have uh, defined a two-dimensional array uh, we have uh, two rows in here this is our first row and this is our second row and we have four uh, uh, it means four columns so first second and third and fourth column or we can say that we have uh, two arrays in here and every array we have uh, four elements like this now uh, now how you can access to the elements of this array uh, for example uh, I want to access to this uh, 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 first element of my uh, first array uh, so for this uh, now you can just say C out now if you see in here our this is our first array and the index of the first array is 0 and this is our second array the index of the second array is 1 now we can simply say that we want to access to the element of the first index array that is 0 and the element that we want to access that is 0 index and we are going to just give uh, we need to add our array in here x and 0 now if I run this now you can see that we are receiving first one uh, now if you want to access to the element of the second array or second dimension of the array for example I, uh, I want to access to the this uh, uh, six to the six element or we can say to the seven element whatever you want so first you need to just specify the uh, uh, the index of the array itself so it is the second array so we can say that it's our first index and uh, first index array and after that you need to specify the element index for example it is zero first and second and we can just say second so now if we run this you'll see that we are receiving seven yeah you can see that it is seven uh, also you can iterate over this uh, uh, multi-dimensional array or two-dimensional array uh, we can just say for and i to 0 and i is less than 2 so this is the first array and i plus plus now we are going to just create another for loop and nested, it's a nested for loop so we can just say int j 0 and j is less than 4 j plus plus And now we can just say C out X uh, I J 
and now if we just run this so now we can see that we have uh, our multi-dimensional array so these are the elements so at the top and you can see that one two three four five six seven eight so like this you can work with the arrays in C++ programming language